Um, Apple Dudes uh, have a question. Hey. Uh, my Vista PC is having trouble booting. It gets stuck on the gateway symbol. What's going on? Ken. So you're, you're getting to the gateway post, but you're not getting any further than that. Mm-hmm. Did it used to boot? I am just wondering if uh, we should worry about the hard drive in that system there, mm. Apple Dudes. If you've got a system that uh, used to be able to boot and now is not able to boot and you haven't really changed anything, it's getting to the gateway logo, which is the manufacturer, the post screen. So... Apple Dude says that they pull the battery out, put it back in, and try again. Does that resolve it? Do you boot up at that point? Because that would be a BIOS issue if that's the case. Uh, no, I have to do it three more times, and then it works. So that sounds like a BIOS issue. Might be something uh, with your model of uh, Gateway Notebook. MMD Murphy, as mentioned, could be a bad motherboard, but quite often that's going to be something that can be resolved with a flash of the BIOS, like uh, to update to the newest version of the BIOS. Um, but I know with the Sony Vios, they had an issue where the motherboards actually degraded over the course of two years to the point where they were no longer able to boot. started with your wireless starting to go down, and then uh, all of a sudden the motherboard just went bad. So, you know, we want to know if it is a motherboard issue, but check if there's a known issue on that particular board. Uh, on You know, just punch in the name of your, uh, your motherboard and see if anyone else is in the forums has ever had that problem. Because it could be something as simple as... Uh, a faulty uh, version of your of your BIOS. Um, someone named you you all, hey, you um, all. <laughs> says, could it be a CMOS battery? Well, it it could be if it was corrupting, but that would be kind of strange because usually if your CMOS battery goes, y- you would just like it would do the same thing because you you would um, lose your BIOS. But on a laptop, typically the the battery pack itself is going to keep the CMOS charged or with a charge I should say even if the battery is dead hmm. but because you're removing the battery and then putting the, you know putting the battery back in you're you're probably letting that you know the power system drain and 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 uh, and then putting the battery back and, and booting it back up after a couple times it works hmm. what you'd want to do is like pull the battery out hold in the power button with the plug unplugged as well hold that in for about 30 seconds that's going to completely drain the uh, the power that's residual in the system, put the battery back in and try to boot and see if that does it on the first try. And if it does, again, it's probably going to be a BIOS issue. But like it's been said in the, in the chat room, it could also be a, a faulty motherboard. But we like to know that it's, like it could be something that is a known issue that could be updated with software. Apple dudes, uh, mm-hmm. Jot saying if it boots without the battery, leave it out because bad batteries can damage the system can leave it out until you have time to buy a new one. Um, Most likely, I, w- I wouldn't say it could necessarily be a battery, though. Like, it wouldn't well, be the a battery faulty battery, because charge. the battery... Oh, it won't charge? Yeah. Hmm. So it could, be, it could be a bad motherboard. If the battery is relatively new, hmm. that would be the determining factor. How old is the battery? If the hmm. battery is, you know, it's gone through its life cycle, it's been charged a thousand times, and it is normal for it no longer to hold a charge that's one thing if on the other hand now see this is only six months old Hmm. so because it's not charging I'm not gonna say it won't hold a charge but I think it's not charging he he says it won't hold a charge but is it actually charging when you have it plugged in is the charger which is part of the motherboard actually charging that notebook battery like a motor says charging contacts shorting something out well, see, my thought is that the, the battery itself, which is connected to the motherboard, which is supposed to charge the, the battery, is not getting charged. So mm. my guess would be, get that motherboard looked at. That could be a faulty motherboard. And well, that ca- could be causing a whole world of problems. MMD Murphy just mentioning, hey, warranty. <laughs> it's under warranty. Yep. You know, get, right. it, get it in there, get them to Good look at thing. it. Don't touch anything on, like, don't wipe it out yet or anything because they can give you a hard time over that if you change the OS and stuff, as silly mm-hmm, as that is. Right, right. But uh, get that into them and see if they'll, uh, they'll repair it. Workhouse says it's one small chip, so. Could be, mm. yeah.